frigates are an indispensable part of any navy. These ships usually form the numerical bulk of a naval fleet as they are relatively cheaper than large destroyers and cruisers. Every modern navy operates frigates in some or the other form and uses them along with larger surface combatants like destroyers and aircraft carriers. The definition of a modern frigate is a modern frigate is a 3,000-7,000 ton warship, equipped with an array of missiles, guns and radars, and is designed to operate autonomously, along with a battle group or act as an escort for non-combatants, in order to fulfill a variety of tasks depending on the mission. A warship displacing 5,000-7,000 tons need not always be called as a frigate as many navies prefer the designation of a destroyer for such warships. The designations vary from one navy to another, but the role of the ships does not change. Admiral Gorshkov Class The Admiral Gorshkov Class of Guided Missile Frigates which incorporate the best weapons and sensors that the Russian industry can produce, is said to be the mainstay of the future Russian fleet. It has an excellent balance of weapons and sensors and is the perfect example for a multi-role frigate. Many ships in this list either lack a secondary radar, land attack capability or a proper sea. But the ship right here, has everything that is needed for a modern surface combatant and displacing around 5,000 tons when fully loaded. Russia has planned to build 15 ships for its fleet and as of now, three ships are under construction and one is finished. This ship has an excellent balance of weapons and sensors and is the perfect example for a modern multi-role frigate. Such than class. Developed as a replacement for the Legends class destroyer, the Saskin is an advanced anti air frigate built for the Deutsche Marine. Its sensor suite and armament are largely similar to that of the Aver who it felt and is Van Prevention class frigates. The Suchsen however has a small advantage owing to its dual helicopter hangars, compared to the single hangar on the other two. Three ships of this class serve at present and plans for a fourth ship were shelved. Keeping future upgrades in mind, these 5,800 ton ships have been designed to accommodate 270 tons of extra weight. Devon Prevention Class. The four air defense frigates of this class are among the most advanced ships in their category. These 6,000-ton ships possess advanced radars and missiles and is slated for a major radar upgrade which will give it unparalleled surveillance capability. This frigate class is noted for its anti-ballistic missile capability which was demonstrated in NATO exercises. Its radars are said to be fully capable of detecting and tracking ballistic missiles at distances of 500 plus km and target engagement will be done by US Navy ships using this information as these frigates don't possess the SM-3 missile yet. Iver who it felt class. This ship class has the distinction of being the cheapest among the most advanced frigates in the world. This is due to the fact that they use the already existing hull of the Epsilon class support ships to make a frigate, thereby reducing design costs significantly and maintaining commonality. 
These 6,600 ton frigates look a bit bulky and clumsy when compared to other frigates, but they pack a lethal combination of weapons and sensors. Since they share most of their missiles and radars with the next frigates in this list, I will explain them in detail here and just mention them for the other two. Alvaro de Bazan class. This ship has the distinction of being the most heavily armed anti-air warfare frigate in the world. The five frigates of this class were built to serve as a modern escort for the Spanish fleet. The Aegis combat system and the SPY-1D radar were chosen to facilitate interoperability with the Aegis-equipped U.S. Navy destroyers. These 6,300-ton frigates were chosen as the base design for the Australian Navy's Hobart-class destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> 